<laughs> that's, that's weird. That's that's that might be a skill, but that's a weird skill. <laughs> so, it's to a have. skill. Were you a bird in your former life? <laughs> Maybe. Hi, I'm Magda Eriksson. And I'm Zetra Mošović. And this is the Rivalhood Quiz. I will start. Hey, <laughs> no peeking. First question. When and where did we meet for the first time? Oh it's a long time. <laughs> yeah. We're old. We are old. We're getting yeah, old. We're getting old. But when was your first national team camp? Uh, was it 2016? Oh, the 17? first, first. You know when the, the woman said that you were beautiful? No! <laughs> <laughs> Not you. <laughs> no, I was sitting there, I'm like, hello. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, was it when we danced as yeah, well? Yeah, that was when, when we my hips. as well. Yeah. Oh, that's in Stockholm then? Yeah. 2013. Yeah, that's, I guess. We've, we've known each other wow. for 10 years. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> to me. What part of each other's game do you value the most as teammates? What I really like about you is that I don't have to worry about you. Like, I want to make sure that everyone's head is in the right place. But with you, I'm like, she's fine. I know that, that she's all right. Uh, <laughs> I think you're a great teammate in, in many other aspects as well. But for me, that is like what sticks out the most. Thank you. <laughs> Behaviors is something that I appreciate and value maybe the highest. You always lead uh, with your examples. And I think that's something that I value highly. <laughs> We're very bad at taking compliments, yeah. so both of us get super awkward. So now we move on. What does rivalhood mean to you? Whatever happens on the pitch, that's always where I can find the rivals. Off the pitch, something else. That's what I really like about football is that you find so many friends and you have so many connections. But when you're on the pitch, even like you say, if you're on the in the same club, but you, in training you're on different teams. We can start yeah. arguing, and that has happened. And you, you kind of take away the emotions when you step on the exactly. field, right? You forget that we're friends. Yeah, yeah. It sounds so 100%. harsh, but... When people have asked me about playing against Penilla, for example, mm. that's the exact same thing. Then I forget that she's my partner. Yeah. How are you feeling about potentially playing me in the UEFA Women's Champions League? Uh, I think it goes back to the rivalhood thing. It would be for me just playing my old club, but I think we are used to like playing against friends. No, it would be an emotional build up to the game, but when the game starts, it's just another game. What do you think are some of the biggest misconceptions people have about rivalry? It's connected to hate, maybe, mm, that it's something that's a good negative. One. I think. Rivalhood and rivalry <laughs> is probably one of the motivating factors in football for me. It's just what makes the game so exciting. Anyone we play against, even if we don't know them, we still respect them because we know all the hours they put into the game, all the hours they've had to make themselves better and put themselves in this situation. And then it's a rivalhood, but it's mutual respect at the same time. It doesn't matter if we're friends, if we're partners. That doesn't matter when we step on the pitch. No. What was the first club I ever played for? Uh, Good. Good. <laughs> and I'm a good Lucky listener, you know, so you. I remember people's wow. answers. Uh, what was the first club I ever played for? Ay, ay, ay. Statena. Yeah. Is it Statena? Yeah. yeah. What's my <laughs> favorite memory of our time together at Chelsea? Um, wrong. <laughs> exactly. Whatever I say, yeah. you're going to say that it's wrong. I mean, I value so much of the on-the-pitch performances and wins and all of those things, but I really liked the night when you invited us to your flat and you had bought empty canvases and paint and we you had cooked for us then it was really fun to see the results of <laughs> of the paintings yeah and yeah i think that is for, at least that's one of my favorite how many saves did i make <laughs> in sweden's win over the usa i hope you have tattooed that <laughs> <laughs> now i get insecure if it's 10 or 11. oh i think it's 10. <laughs> no yes. was it 11. Yeah. 
<laughs> no. Yeah. Who is my favorite Swedish singer? Monica Mack. Yes. Oh. Correct. We have to share that story. Yeah. It's actually crazy. We were on a camp with uh, with the national team, and it was your birthday. The next day yeah. was it. True. I was like, should I buy something to you or do something fun? And then I see your favorite art singer sitting in a cafe. <laughs> I went up to her, asked her. She told me she was here for a small wedding where she was going to sing. And somehow <laughs> we ended up... She invited you to come. She said that we could come back. I think it was a combination between yeah. me inviting myself oh, really? or That's us. That's really brave. What's your best memory of playing together? The World Cup. I think the whole journey was so cool. How we started, how it finished. I think the way we did it this summer is the way that we both want to do things. And it's just so cool that we were also so successful at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I agree. What's the weirdest fact you know about me? <laughs> Your thumb is uh, quite weird. <laughs> Can you show the camera? <laughs> so people... <laughs> bendy thumb. Both of them yeah. are extremely bendy. I think mine is weird. Mine is well, almost what is that? parallel to the floor. Yeah. <laughs> also your whistling, weird whistling. That's... Oh yeah. So the whistling is actually a skill. It's not weird. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that's weird. That's that's there might be a skill, but that's a weird skill. <laughs> so it's to a have. skill. Were you a bird in your former life? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Thanks for watching and follow our journey this season in UEFA Women's Champions League.